The Kariba South Extension project officially commenced on the 10th of November 2014 and exactly 40 months later, on the 10th of March 2018, both Unit 7 and 8 were on the national grid, boosting the capacity of the existing Kariba power station by 300 megawatts. The completion of Kariba South Extension project on schedule and within budget is a record for projects of similar magnitude in the region. Built in the late 50s, the existing power plant was built with a capacity of 666 megawatts and complemented by four thermal power stations, namely Wange, Harare, Wulawayo and Munyati. This was sufficient for the demand then. In the later years, between 1997 and 2003, the capacity was increased to 750 megawatts. And still, due to increasing demand, Zimbabwe experienced power shortages, resulting in the importation of energy from neighboring countries at high costs. The completion of the extension project will thus reduce the import bill by 300 megawatts worth of power. Sino Hydro, a subsidiary of Power China with experience on similar projects in more than 40 countries around the world, was contracted to build the new units. The project saw the participation of players with global experience in various sectors. Hatch, the technical advisors, were a global international consultancy firm with experience in hydropower projects across the globe. KPMG, who played a financial advisory role, Legal advisors Norton Rose, Fulbright and Nor Consult were the ZPC project management advisors. The powerhouse, the primary deliverable of all civil infrastructure for the Kariba South Extension project, is the area that saw most of the transformation over the course of the project. Over 650,000 cubic meters of earth and rock were drilled and blasted away to create this massive underground cavern. The scale of the project required expertise from across the globe, Canada, South Africa, China, Switzerland and South Korea. Job creation for the locals was key to the engagement of local stakeholders, chiefs, district administrators and the council. At the peak of the project, over 1,500 workers were employed on site, of which 263 are Chinese and the rest were locals from Kariba and its surrounding areas. Apart from job creation for the locals, the project added to local infrastructure development. A classroom block was built for Mahombe Kombe Secondary School. Nyamunga Stadium, the home of the local Premier Soccer League club, was refurbished and Ruya River Bridge, connecting Kariba and Charara, was built. Energy is the key factor in economic development for all economies around the world and Zimbabwe is no exception. As a result, the refurbishing, upgrading and construction of new power plants remain top priority on the national agenda. As a demonstration of the importance of national value placed on the Kariba South Extension project, many stakeholders thronged the site, some to witness the spectacle and others for high-level continuous monitoring. The Ministry of Energy and Power Development facilitated such visits and also presided over a multi-sector project steering committee which met every third month to review project progress and deal with stakeholder concerns and expectations. The demand for power will continue to increase as the economy experiences growth and so the vision, commitment and willingness to generate more power should surpass industrial and domestic appetite for energy if we are to achieve our developmental goals as a nation.